Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Big Bite Base Rig it with a coach on Monday. Let's talk about some things today, Jordan, that we got to talk in the spring time of the year. But before we do, I always got to have my clothing perk. So I want to talk a little bit about this new Paragon hat that we have. I really like this gray and black one. It's got the little red trim on the patch and, and it's a really nice hat. It fits real well. It's a 112 Richardson. Uh, very nice hat. And I think that's that Pro Series, Richardson, isn't it? That's a plus, yep. Yeah, plus, that means it's got a little stretch in the band as well. So, mm -hmm. pretty nice hat. Uh, those are online now. You can pick those up here at Big Bite Baits or next week at the Classic, possibly. All right. And then I've got on the new uh, one-quarter zip shirt that we just came out with. It's a, it's a very thin shirt. But, like, today, I'm just wearing it like a shirt. I just got a T-shirt on under it, and I just wore it all day. But you can wear it over your regular shirt, like if you're going out to eat or you could fish in it or whatever. Uh, you know, it, it's got a lot of different uses, but I really like that. We have those in, in stock now, uh, small through triple X, uh, has the big bite bite logo down the back of it. And uh, something's pretty nice that we just came out with. It's a little, maybe a little dressier than normal, but I, I really like to wear it. It's comfortable and it's something that you might want to look at. Also on the website, I believe these are $34.99 if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in that price, price range, okay? So I thought, uh, before we get started on our bait for the day, we in need of questions. We used up all of our questions last week. So some of you guys that's out there listening to us live today, hit us up with a question so we can keep this thing rolling a little while. We'll do our best to get to your question today. If not, we'll try to catch it next week for sure. Uh, let's talk about the bait for the day. So it's spring of the year. And I know here in New Fall, Alabama, the lake looks like red coffee, okay? <laughs> Which always happens about this time of year invariably. And uh, there's a bait that I really like to use in the spring of the year that works really well to me in that muddy water, especially if you're fishing shallow. And that's our crawl tube. And you've heard me talk about it being one of the best kept secrets that we have at Big Buy Bait. I thought today I might just talk a minute about the good old crawl tube and some ways we might rig it and some things you can do with it. As you can see, the crawl tube is just a straight tube type bait. It's got a, a, like a crawl pincher on each side of it. It does have a hole up through it. I call that a rattle pocket where you can slide a rattle in it and you can take this particular bait and i like to fish it with a rattle most definitely that seems to make it get more bites especially when it's real muddy out there and obviously i'm holding up my favorite color which is black neon i like this color a lot especially in muddy water and it works real well for me um uh, and then if, you, if it doesn't have enough action to suit you because it's pretty subtle in this form if you want to get it where it's a little bit faster you can go to the uh, the swimming craw tube. It's got the appendages on the side that flap. And it's got like, like I call them fighting frog claws. Basically, same thing as on the battle bug, the fighting frog. And, it, and it, of course, it'll give it a lot more action. Has that same uh, rattle pocket. Comes in 22 colors, just like the regular one. And as a result, you know, it works out pretty good. You can use it. Now, let's talk about rigging it. You know, obviously, I've talked about putting the rattle in it. Um, other things you can do to it that you might want to know. I like to throw it like on a 3 16 ounce or a quarter ounce piece of lead around grass, around wood. Uh, you can throw it around rock, anything. I like to pitch it shallow. Uh, I like to use either a, like a 17 pound fluorocarbon or you could even go to like a braided line, like a 30 or 40 pound braid if you wanted to. High speed reel, meme heavy action. Uh, makes that bait work real good. And the biggest key I think is fishing it slow. And one thing I have found about this bait I will share with you is that a lot of times when you get bites on the bait, be prepared, the fish will come straight to you. So you got to get up line in a hurry. So the faster speed reel you use, the better. Try to catch line and catch up with them because for some reason they bite this bait and like to go to deep water with it. And uh, that's something I found that kind of runs true here on our lake with it. But uh, I think if you haven't tried it, you, 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 you'll like it if you try it, especially if you like to do a lot of pitching around type things. And I basically recommend it you know, in any color, but like I said, I like the black neon. Comes in 22 colors, uh, can't beat it. So we've got some questions. I saw you jotting them down, let's talk. We've got a couple, let me scroll through them here. We have a good question from Fish Puck Life is wondering, will we be at the Classic? Uh, what will be at the Classic or? Will we be at the Classic? Yes, we will be at the Classic. We're gonna <clears throat> be in the AFCO store. So in that store, there'll be AFCO, Denali, Spro, Big Bite Baits. Uh, help me if I left anybody Sunline. out. Denali Rods, uh, uh, Sunline, it'll all be in the same store together. So we won't have an individualized booth. We will be in that store. So look for us at that store. We will have our complete line there, however, clothing and baits. 
So give us a quick taste of maybe what baits will be there. Uh, all of our new stuff, all of our tour series stuff, like, you know, the, the swim-ons and the kamikaze crawls, the fighting frogs, uh, pro swimmers, suicide yeah, shads, uh, crawl tubes. Um, just pretty much everything we make, pretty much, there'll be some, some, some examples of it there for sure. Okay, yeah, hopefully some of you guys can come out and see us. We'll have sure, a sign. we'd love to see you, man. We'll have our signage up with our logo, so you can't right, miss you it. Right, you can't miss it. Um, let's I, see. If I'm not mistaken, without interrupting you, I believe it's on the main floor, too. Mm -hmm. So yep. it's, it's, it'll be right as you come into the Classic, so you won't have a hard time finding it either. Okay, I have a next question from Devin is wondering, have you fished this on a tube head, or do you prefer the Texas rig? I prefer the Texas rig it with a 4 alt uh Wide gap hook is what I like to use in it. I uh, have not tried it with a tube head. Uh, the way I like to fish it, I think I would stay hung up a lot with a tube head type jig. So as a result, I go with the wide gap and I just skin hook it. I pull it through like I've got it right here and I skin hook it on the back and just pull it up against the top of the bait. That way you can get a good hook set, hook set on it when you set the hook. Okay. So you're using it more of a flipping bait rather than a regular tube. Kind of, yeah. Pitch and flipping type deal. Okay. Uh, let's see, what kind of rod and line do you like to throw these on? I throw this on like a 18 pound Sunline uh, shooter, and I use like a, a medium, I use an LX rod to throw it uh, in a medium heavy action, and then I like to use a real fast reel, fast as I can get, like a rocket. Something's like eight to one, something will really pick up line in a hurry. So that's kind of how I like to rig it out. I don't really like to throw it on braid, some people do. I, I just like a little bit of stretch, so I like that, that, that fluorocarbon better. Okay. Uh, that's all the questions I have for you right now. All right, sounds good. Well, we'll, uh, we'll be back. Uh, let's see. Now, next week, we won't be on live because everybody's going to be leaving, obviously, to go to the Classic. And then we'll be back the next week after the Classic. I do want to give a shout-out today to all of our pros, though. I don't know if you kept caught up with the Bass this weekend, but our guys all did extremely well. We had two in the top ten. I think all of our anglers made a made the second-day cut. So it was a very good weekend for Big Bite. And uh, congratulations to Drew Benton for finishing second and Clifford Perch for finishing ninth. Uh, if you watch the uh, Clifford was catching them on my fight and frog, him and Drew both were. So something to think about anyway. Uh, but uh, anyway, we'll see you all next week or week after. Excuse me.